hey guys welcome back to my channel this is me Frank Stan and today I'll be showing you guys how you can install Citra and run it on your Linux system so let's get right into it so there are two ways to install it and I'll be showing you only one way uh, you can uh, try the other way if you want to I thought that this is the easy way to install it uh, but if you're having any problems uh, with this method then you can comment down in the, in the comment section below and I'll help you so if you don't know what uh, Citra is Citra is uh, a three Nintendo 3DS emulator for PC and for Windows Mac OS uh, you can uh, directly install it from the Citra's website I believe which I'll, I'll be linking down in the description below and on the Citra's website you have uh, instructions uh, on how to install it on your Linux system and there they have used the flat pack method which is a package manager I guess but I don't have it and uh, I'll need to configure it if I if I need to install it using this method so I'm not going to do that I'll use it using the standard not the standard but uh, easier method which is using snap and which is uh, already installed on Ubuntu I don't know if it's on other uh, distros by default but on Ubuntu snap comes by default so therefore it's much easier so if you don't have snap then it's I think f I know it for Arch and uh, Manjaro you install it by sudo pacman s snapd right and I don't know for the other distros you can check it out how to install that and uh, for Ubuntu or uh, on any other distro as long as you have snap it's as simple as sudo snap let me move the terminal so it's visible sudo snap install citra mds edge and you press enter and you install it mine's already installed so that's as simple as that and it installs two version by default on uh, either method it installs the Citra Nightly and Citra Canary and once it's installed then you can run it you can just search uh, it comes installed with the graphical user interface and this is Citra so you go to configure and the game I'm going to be testing is Creeping Terror which is a horror game and uh, let's go to graphics and here just check that you have ha enable hardware shader and accurate manipulation everything should look like this and you should be fine and uh, let me remind you that some games need different settings for them to work so try toggling these two these two ones uh, or even this and see if it uh, not this probably only these two so see if that works uh, it, both will work just that one will be buggier than the other so there's that and audio is kind of a bit of a problem because on kernel on specific kernel versions the audio does not work mine is 5.4 and i think any kernel that's 5.4 ish or 5.5 uh, the audio doesn't work and it's not because you have any uh, packages wrongly installed or you didn't install uh, citra properly it's because of the kernel bug so don't worry if you don't get the audio that's fine just make sure that your settings look similar similar it needs to be the output engine needs to be sdl2 and this needs to be hle fast and if your audio device is detected here then it will work for you and i have tested this bug by going into uh, by testing it on manjaro which had a kernel version of 5.6 and it worked there the audio was working fine over there but on ubuntu unfortunately unfortunately it does not work now downloading the 3ds roms so make sure that you download uh, decrypted roms now I'm, I'm not going to be linking the source uh, you you will have to uh, find it yourself and I'm not doing that for many reasons uh, which I don't want to say but yeah there's that so just make sure that you uh, install the uh, already decrypted roms because there's no software on Ubuntu or any Linux distros to decrypt a Citra, uh, sorry, a Nintendo 3DS ROM. Uh, it is available, a script is available on Windows, but I haven't, I've had no success with it personally, so you can try that if you want. 
and also you can decrypt it using a Nintendo 3DS system that handheld uh, game console but that would be kind of ironic then if you had a 3D system a working one then you should probably s s play it on there rather than using it on PC but you may have your own reasons you might want to record the gameplay so yeah uh, it's much more easier if you have a, a 3D system I believe so I already have the uh, creeping terry uh, ROM here and the region is USA and it's uh, I've already extracted it and it's inside this file so uh, I'll add the install CR file and I'll go to the location where it is present and you can see that I've clicked to the CR file and it should load here and I should click on it and it should work fine if everything goes right the graphics should look good like this and if you guys are inter interested, I am planning on doing a gameplay on my other gaming channel, which I will be linking down in the description below. And I'll update. I'll be uh, updating that soon enough. So there's that. So let's check. Let's play a new game. Why not? And it's a good thing that there's no audio because otherwise uh, I would have to uh, watch out for copyright strikes. So you can see that there's some sort of bug because uh, the graphic is not working properly. So we can uh, change that in the uh, graphics and let's disable this. Let's try it with that. Maybe that changes. Let's restart and see if that changes anything. But for if you wanted to see how to install Citra, that's about it. And uh, at this point, I'm just testing if the graphic works fine. So let me just check once again. And it is kind of buggy because it's the Edge variation, not the latest stable version. So it is not actually working fine. It is having some problems. I think that it's due to my graphics driver. So I'll have to configure that later on. Mm. Okay, there it is. That, that worked. So now we can see that it works fine. So uh, let me check once again. All right, there we go. That works fine. So like I said, if it's not working, then just toggle these two settings on graphics. That is enable hardware shader and accurate multiplication. Just check with that. And you can see that there's no audio. The volume is up but still there's no audio and that's okay uh, I'll try to uh, run this game on a virtual machine with a different system and see if it works there but that's that's it for this video guys and I'll be linking the Citra's website down in the description along with my gaming channel if you want to go check it out I'll be doing regular gameplays so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed the video uh, this is me Frankstein signing out I'll see you guys in the next one